Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Dungeon Boss Face-Off series. Today we are taking a look at another user request. This is one that I had not anticipated doing because it is a little bit too, um, I guess it's not really a fair assessment, but uh, I wanted to see the numbers myself just to make my own uh, judgments afterwards. But we're looking at Shade versus Shadowblade, the two fast dark heroes um, two of the most prevalent PvP heroes in the game. They're both great on offense and defense. They have a lot of utility. They kill a lot of people. Um, we want to know which one's actually better. Now, the vast majority of people, myself included, will say Shade is hands down better. Um, and that's largely because of his rune loadout. It's not that he's a, a totally OP hero, which, by the way, he is. His rune loadout was the first one of its kind where we had it where it's all five of the same runes. If these were all five yellow runes, Shade would be much, much more manageable because then his only saving grace would be stacking some damage reduction and maybe some crit and other scale things. But the fact that they're dark, when we start stacking things like these beasts here with uh, uh, huge uh, duelist runes or power runes or even bulwark runes. So that rune loadout alone uh, essentially changed the face of the game. Um, when Shade came out, this was uh, unlike anything we'd ever seen. In fact, um, I, I didn't think anybody ever expected a rune layout like this, um, but yet here it is. And it's still technically the only one like this. There are a couple other heroes that have a typical rune loadouts, but nothing like this. And so that makes Shade incredibly dangerous, and also one of the most sought out uh, hero tokens that you can actually get. But we're not here to play the, the Shade game. We all know how great Shade is. What we want to look at is numbers. We want to know how do his numbers compare to somebody like Shadowblade. So for our sake, we're looking at base uh, stats. We do have to consider the rune loadout because technically, um, no matter what, um, Shade can always be made more powerful because he does not get bogged down by the um, other runes. So you don't get bogged down by that water rune, for example. But let's take a look at the, the overall stats here and see how much they actually compare. We all know that Shadowblade does some great damage as well. In fact, I think there was a tooltip uh, at some point that basically said as far as a single target attack goes, Shadowblade's uh, first skill is actually the highest single target base attack um, number. Uh, I don't remember if that's true, but it was certainly true about uh, the fast heroes. But let's take a look at the, our base attack here. So Shade's base attack is 2305 base, plus he gets 30% uh, from his epic. So ignoring the epic, both uh, Shadow Blade and Shade are both epic. We could either consider them both or ignore them both. In this case here, let's ignore it to start with, um, just uh, because. So it's 2305 plus an extra 30%, which is huge. Shadow Blade, his base attack, is much much lower uh, 1977 so it is roughly 400 let's just say 350 lower we're looking at um, at least a 15 percent difference between the two plus uh, his epic uh, tops out at 20% instead of 30%. So any way you spin it, no matter what you do, Shade's attack will always be higher than Shadow Blade's. Um, even in addition, because of the rune loadout, um, it will scale up even further. But if there are no runes, Shade is still better than Shadow Blade, um, hands down. There's no question about it. Based on base attack plus their epics, um, Shade is better in both categories. Defense, who's going to survive? 1692 is a reasonable defense for a um, fast ninja like him. That's pretty decent. Um, he will get 20% from his epic versus Shade, who is a little spirit caster dude. Not as tough as a ninja per se. Mine has good defense, but his base defense is 1660. So in terms of base defense, it is actually lower than Shadow Blades, plus Shadow Blade also gets the 20% for the epic. Shade does not have such. So while in base form, Shadow Blade will have better defense, technically speaking, because of the rune loadouts and we can stock up on bulwarks, we could make Shade's defense higher because at some point uh, you're not going to be able to stack those bulwarks on every one of them. Um, 
shadow blade. At least I don't think you can. I don't know that um, there is a fire rune that is a bulwark. Uh, don't quote me on that one, though. Um, I don't do a lot of crafting of fire runes. But for the interest of comparison, we're going to say Shadow Blade has the higher defense, which he technically does, um, outside of the runes. And this was part of the reason I didn't want to compare these two, because the rune um, differential between the two can be incredibly, incredibly difficult to, uh, uh, to compare. Because uh, the colors don't uh, necessarily translate from one to another. Like, for example, the dark runes to water runes, you just cannot uh, compare them. Um, as far as bulwarks, you can... But as far as power runes or destruction runes, you cannot. Anyways, max health. Next up is, actually no skill, sorry. 2432 with no extra base modifiers. Uh, I'll tell you flat out that skill is amongst the highest starting point in the game. Um, which is odd. I mean, he certainly didn't need any more power than he already had. But the fact that he has amongst the highest skill in the entire game is um, pretty impressive. Um... The only thing that really helps for is his base crit. It doesn't really do much else in terms of what his abilities are. So um, it's sort of negligible at this point, but um, it's interesting that it's basically amongst the highest in the game. So um, that just uh, caters to his OP-ness. Skill on Shadow Blade is 1882 with no passives. This is much, much lower than Shades uh, in terms of base. Um, he's got 16 uh, or, or 600 more. That's a 30% increase from Shadow Blade to Shade. Um, that's pretty significant. And um, to be honest, Shadow Blade could use the skill more because he has a heal. Um, also, um, that chance to disease and, and such like that. So, um, skill would be better on him than it would on Shade. Max health 4431. But he gets the maximum from the epic as well with a 30%. Unfortunately, we saw this with Black Diamond, really low health. Even 30% on here is is negligible. I mean, 30% of 4,400 is still only you know 1,500. That's going to put him at 6,000 base health. That's pretty awful. Shade, on the other hand, base health of already 6,500, plus he gets an epic. Um, health is vastly superior to Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade does survive pretty well in PvP, but it's usually because of its dodginess, not the fact that he can take a hit and, and keep on going. But Shay's got higher base health, and he gets a bonus from his epic. Um, this one isn't even a question. It's a massive, massive differential. You consider those epics in there, and even 30% versus 20%, and it's, it's not even close. So after the core stats, uh, Shade has a pretty sizable lead in almost every category, um, and that's not even really considering the runes. Uh, if we ignore the runes, Shade is still uh, head and shoulders above Shadow Blade in terms of base stats, except for defense. Um, damage output, we do know that, um, technically speaking, Shadow Blade can put out more damage than Shade can if we were simply measuring numbers. Now, the interesting thing is if we just added up base attacks turn by turn by turn um, the base attacks alone on shade can still rival those of, of shadow blades um, skills so it's um, that's just uh, after the runes are considered um, my base attack on on shade uh, kills tons and tons of people where shadow blades uh, does not but let's look at the actual numbers um, just like we have before haunted pass which is his primary damage dealing attack does 2700 base now in terms of single target attacks um, this is right up there we saw some really high ones um, with other videos uh, getting up into the 3000s we saw Ponty over 3000 with his uh, doom bolt the fact that this is his primary attack and it is a single target one of 2700 it is uh, a pretty impressive attack so that's actually uh, pretty pretty good Couple this with the rune loadout, and that attack turns pretty uh, deadly pretty quickly. The From the Shadows does 1680 base. It also gives us a chance to dodge. Uh, I do like this one that it actually shows what the percent dodge chance is, not just uh, a random chance to dodge um, that uh, doesn't have a number on it. But in terms of damage output, um, it's nice that it has a. Uh, um, a chance to disease um, his basic or not this one here doesn't have a chance to disease per se but he has a trait that allows him to uh, to disease on crit um, but uh, 1680 uh, doesn't even compare to 2766 
Um, so that first attack is, is shade all the way. Um, the other ones, we basically give those to, we could sort of give those to, to Shadow Blade because Shade does not have a second or a third attack. Vampiric Shurikens is nothing to laugh about. Uh, 840 and then um, times two other ones, so basically three attacks here. This is, um, it's not really an easy one to calculate. It's not an easy number based off their base attack, but uh, if we raise his base attack, we're looking at roughly, um, let's just see once here. I'll give you some numbers. 840 divided by 1977. It's roughly 40% of his base attack, which is pretty low in terms of damage output, but it does do, um, you know, three hits. So, I mean, 840 times three is 2,500, which is basically... Um, you know, 1.25% his base attack, which, I don't know, it's not much to, to write home about. But we all know that Vampiric Shurikens is, is sort of the real deal. And part of it, I believe, is, um, yeah, it's a spirit attack. So it's sort of, it, it doesn't necessarily ignore armor, but it, it does a ton of damage. And then his third attack, um, 2718, which is a great uh, comparison to... Uh, Shade's first attack, so if we kind of strike those two out as a wash, I mean, attack-wise and dealing damage, Shadow Blade probably does technically do more damage, but then um, with Shade's final ability, um, we get what I'm going to call the Shang Tsung effect, and basically it doesn't even matter that this doesn't do damage because Shade becomes anybody, so Shade turns into Ponty, uh, actually, no, he's not going to possess Ponte because of the skeleton. That was a bad example. Shade turns into Inferno, for example, and does that uh, first attack and deals out thousands and thousands of damage. Or possesses Viperion, does the snakes on the plane. He possesses anybody and does basically their full potential on any of their abilities. So um, any way you spin it, that uh, possession on Shade is going to be uh, devastating. So... Um, in terms of pure numbers, um, Shade is definitely uh, um, much better than Shadow Blade. In terms of usage and functionality, Shadow Blade can be better in some spots because he ignores armor. He's a little bit dodgy, but in the grand scheme of things, um, Shade is a VIP hero for the longest time, and he was purposely given this particular rune loadout. He's going to be probably, for a while, the best hero in the game. I don't uh, think many people are going to dispute that. Um, there's a lot of people think that he's overpowered, which he definitely is. Uh, again, if you watched uh, my videos with my caster team, um, he's he's going one against four against fully healed uh, opponents and still uh, coming out on top because of clever usage of spirit link and uh, possession. And so anybody that can survive something like that um, is definitely worth having. So... Well, Shadow Blade is certainly no slouch. Um, don't get me wrong, Shadow Blade is great, and I use him every single day. In fact, I use him on almost every PvP attack along with Shade. So it's not like saying he's bad, it's just they have different usage. And Shade is just overall a better, better hero. So if you can get Shade, I definitely recommend you get him. If not, um, beef up your Shadow Blade as best as possible. He's going to be just as good and useful in PvP. Um, but uh, in terms of this uh, face-off series, there's really, I don't think there's really ever a question that Shade wasn't better than Shadow Blade. It's just I was more interested in seeing the numbers. I thought as far as base attacks go and those skills, Shadow Blade may have been a little bit more comparable, but uh, unfortunately uh, he's not. On top of that, add to the fact that Shade gets mystical, so he's dealing more damage to those guys as well. That's just a bunch of extra free damage as well, so... Oh, and by the way, he can't be taunted either. So, I mean, Sh Shade is just loaded down with stuff that um, he doesn't need any of these other things and he would still be incredibly powerful. So he could get a massive overhaul, but not change his stats and still be um, a force to be reckoned with. So, um, again, Shadow Blade is not bad. There are certainly things that he excels at that Shade might not be able to do. So um, there's no sense in coming at me that's uh, and saying that Shadow Blade you know, is better than Shade in this area here. And, and I get that. Shade um, will fall short of Shadowblade in certain areas. That's, that's going to happen. Um, 
but overall as a hero shade is better and that's uh, kind of goes without question so any questions comments concern feel free to leave them below um, we can start a, a heated debate if you like otherwise you can accept the fact that shade is better but uh, until next time we will see you again and as always thanks for watching Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button and be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie, there's only passion. We'll see you next time.